Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually something that I have never done before, but someone has asked for, and that is a Goodwill Bins haul. So basically things that I have picked up to resell either on Facebook Marketplace or Poshmark. Um, so I'm just looking around. I have a lot, a lot of things to show you. Um, I'm probably not going to talk about everything in detail. I'm just going to show, maybe say what it is and like move on. Uh, first and foremost, if you watched my last video, I think I posted that video maybe two months ago, a month and a half ago, something like that. Um, I know I said in that video that I pretty much exclusively sell on Facebook Marketplace, uh, but since that video has gone up, I've actually changed my kind of entire business model. So now what I'm doing is I'm actually selling on Poshmark more than I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace. If I do find some graphic tees, which I have in here, I will still post on Facebook, but Pretty much all of my effort right now is going into Poshmark. That's where most of this stuff that I'm going to show you will be listed today. Uh, but other than that, I really hope you like this video. So all of this stuff here, I think is my last two weeks of uh, shopping, I guess. So I pretty much always go to the bins on Friday morning. That's kind of my day that I go to the bins. So how the Goodwill bins work is that you end up paying per pound. So my bins is $1.49 per pound. So generally for me, once I get home and see how much I paid and uh, how many items I got, it ends up being about a dollar per item. Um, I think this last trip that I took, this one bag, actually ended up being 80 cents per item. So a really low cost of goods, which I love. Uh, that allows me to um, not only, only maximize my profits, but also like if people want to offer things, I'm not too picky about what I sell it for, uh, just because I only spent, you know, 80 cents a dollar on things. So, um, you know, I'm happy to take lower offers, uh, depending on the item. Let's get going. I've got a lot to show you. There's a lot to do. Okay, so the first thing up is this Lucky Brand uh, long sleeve. This is actually the one item in here that I'm really tempted to keep. It's a long sleeve, Lucky Brand, it's their new tag. It's a large, it's yellow, it's floral, super cute. All right, so next up, I was actually really excited to find this. It doesn't really look like much, <laughs> um, but this is a, if I can find the beginning, oh my goodness. Okay, this is a uh, basically new, it's from the summer of 2021, so it's still being sold on the website, but it's a Banana Republic um, like tiered maxi dress and it's got these uh, like frilled sleeves, very cute. Um, if I remember correctly, I feel like this is currently, I know it's currently sold on the website, I think it's like $112. I could be wrong. I feel like I remember $112 for this one. Uh, so I'm hoping to either get like at least $30, $40 for it, uh, maybe even more because it is uh, like brand new. So I think right here would be a great time to point out that the light that is on the left hand side of the screen um, is actually a very yellow sort of uh, tungsten light and it's kind of making all the pieces look like they have a giant yellow stain on them. Uh, just try to ignore it. I think uh, next time I will not be using that yellow light and just stick to some more natural light. Uh, the next piece that I have is this, um, it's kind of hard to show. It's from Francesca, Francesca's. It's a, like a kimono, like wrap type thing. It's kind of hard. There's little like baby sleeves here and it, it's like a wrap, it's long, it's cute. I think it's called a cocoon wrap. I think that's what it's called. Next up is this American Eagle uh, blouse. Um, American Eagle, uh, I've heard a lot of mixed things about American Eagle, uh, but this one I thought was really cute. It's got a square neckline, it's got the embroidery, it's got tassels, I think it's a medium. Um, super cute, it's a nice like blush pink color, so I definitely think it's got a lot of things going for it. Uh, next up is this Free People blouse. And this one's also kind of hard. I'll put a stock photo in of this one as well, just because I think when you hold it up, it looks really strange. But I found a stock photo of it and it looked really cute. So uh, this Free People one, size extra small. So it's a little, even though it doesn't look like an extra small, this would definitely fit me. So 
oversized, I guess. So next up is something that I was uh, really excited to find. Um, and this is a Tahari uh, suit, woman's uh, suit set, but it's got like a really cute, I wonder if it will focus, like multicolor, it's a tweed suit set. Um, this is also in excellent condition. Uh, no flaws on here, so you've got the jacket and, and the skirt. And I believe this is a size six. So next up is these Citizens of Humanity jeans. It's their, I don't know if there's a style name on here. No, there's a style number, but there's no name on here. They're, I believe they're like a, a slim straight. I think when I Googled them, the style number, I believe it was like a slim straight. It's just these like burgundy Citizens of Humanity these are also in excellent condition. There's nothing wrong with these. Um, this one, this one's just a wild fable skirt. Uh, there were a couple of these selling on Poshmark. Uh, it probably won't sell for very much, anywhere from $10 to $15. But it's very cute. It's like a light wash. It's got this like paneling down it. I thought it was a cute skirt. The next thing was these, I believe they're vintage. I was trying to, I spent, probably way too long looking up this particular Jimboree, Jimboree tag. It's like a kid's tag, but from what I could Google, um, they, a lot of people were saying that this like rainbow tag here is I think like 1995-ish. If um, I still need to check that before I list these, um, but they're these super cute kids color block shorts and they have like a little like desert hiking type thing there. Um, really cute, love that. Next, I believe this was also American Eagle. Picked it up more for style rather than the brand. Um, it is this cute floral romper and it's got like a cross front. Yeah, very cute. I thought that was nice. Okay, moving on to the next bag here. Since I've got two big bags that look like this. So we will find out. <laughs> um, this next bag here is the trip that I took this most recent Friday, so two days ago. Um, I have not actually looked at this stuff since I bought it. So, and I have not researched any of this stuff, um, only what I kind of looked at in the store before I purchased everything. Um, but I have not done anything besides that. So I'm kind of pulling all this stuff out for the first time since I bought it. <laughs> Uh, so the first thing, this is probably what I'm most excited about to do a bit more research about. This is a Hemant and Nandita skirt. There's the tag. Um, so I could, if I remember correctly, I could not find here. Let me show you the skirt first. It's this long, really flowy skirt and it's got these like gold shimmery panels in them. And if I remember correctly, it is a size small, but I could not find the exact style online. Uh, but just looking at the brand, everything from this brand seemed to be selling anywhere from like 75 to like 300 plus dollars. So um, when I find this exact skirt, I'm hoping it's a higher range skirt, but um, if anything, hopefully I could get 50 bucks for it. Um, pristine condition, I could not find anything wrong with it. Uh, so I've heard a couple different things from different resellers about Vera Bradley. I've heard some people that pick it up, some people that avoid it at all costs. So I found actually two items literally right next to each other. So I think that they are uh, maybe from the same person, maybe. Uh, the first one is this, I don't know, is this like a crossbody bag? Um, small purse. Um, I quite honestly think that this is brand new. Um, it was, it's still got like, it's like still almost like pressed at the sides um, and at the top here, like how you would pull it out out of the bag. It seems very new. There's no scuffs or any sign of wear in here. Obviously I will list it as pre-owned, um, but I mean, even like the clasp here is like perfect condition. So we will, see i have no idea what this would sell for but hopefully i could at least get like 10 to 15 bucks for it and that's great considering i paid 80 cents for this and the next very bradley piece was this i believe it's like a makeup bag uh, this one has a little bit of 
like a little bit of like scuffs and stuff inside, but it's still very clean considering it's a makeup bag. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with it at all. I believe this is a makeup bag. I think so. Um, super cute. The pattern is very clean on the outside. There was no marks or anything wrong with it. So we will also, it's more of a tester piece as well. So the next piece, I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Uh, this is a Free People um, tunic. It's like a tunic and it's got long sleeves with like little frills at the end. Um, this one I have not researched to see how much it will sell for, um, but I think it's super cute. So we will see. It's got like, it's like a super boho and like um, modern, I guess not modern, but really in style, right? Um, okay. So this particular piece, I picked this one up more for style rather than the brand. Uh, the brand is Westbound. It's a 1X, but it's this blue dress and it's got this like really fun, colorful embroidery on it. And these like big kind of, I'm assuming these are kind of like three quarter sleeves, but they're almost like these little like, um, why can't I think of it? Like the bell sleeves or super fun. Um, this one, this one's also more of a tester piece. Uh, this is from Lauren Conrad, I believe. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah, so this is a Lauren Conrad piece. Uh, it's an XL. We will see about this one. I don't really know about this. Okay, so this one is, so this one is kind of like a pink. It's got a hood, uh, like a waffle knit, and it's got little frills at the bottom, or like little ruffles at the bottom. Uh, it's like very slightly shimmery as well, but it's very cute. Um, this one. Okay, so this one's really interesting. Um, this is a piece that I found, this button is open, that I came across. And I looked at it and I was looking at it and I was like, mm, I don't really know. And I ended up putting it back. Um, and then about an hour later, I saw them still sitting there. Uh, so I came and I took them home. And the reason... I took them home and I ended up doing a little bit of research on just this pair and it's from the brand, gosh, it's got like a little like dry clean sticker on it, Toad & Co, Toad & Co, yes, but these seem to be selling really well on, um, was it eBay or Mercury? Yeah, so I ended up finding a lot of different comps on different platforms, um, but these were like $60 pants and I was like, and they like scrunch up. So these are definitely something that I will be experimenting with, but I came back to them because something told me to go ahead and grab them. But these pants, I believe they're like a linen as well, which is nice. Um, red pants. Okay, I do need to speed it up a little bit. I feel like it's taking a long time to get through this stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Okay, next up is um, a Lucky Brand blouse, floral, long sleeves it is a 1x so great size cute it's got like a little tassel or like string detail on the front uh this is something that i actually picked up more for style rather than the brand the brand is kato it is an extra large it is this really cute kind of like patchwork dress it's got like lace on it um it's got like floral um, sleeveless, I think it's got a lot going for it. It's got like a keyhole back at the back. Very cute. Um, this is something that uh, will definitely kind of be like an experiment piece for me. I believe it's also American Eagle. I did get a lot of stuff from American Eagle, which is strange because I normally don't. Um, but regardless, these uh, patchwork floral shorts these are a medium. I should actually put them up to show you. Here we go. Very cute. Okay, so this is the first item that I might end up putting on Facebook Marketplace. Um, maybe. It, I might put it, I might list it on both. We'll see. So it's this long sleeve, um, but I picked it up because um, it's an Outer Banks from, I think North Carolina, Outer Banks um like graphic but if you look it's not just a graphic it's like an embroidered 
like an embroidered, like really fun, uh, like license plate and it's all like embroidered on there. I thought it was really cool. It's not just like a patch, it's like properly on there. Um, so I thought that was really cool, really original. Um, I have no idea what I will list this at, but uh, next up is this Lucky Brand. Um, it's kind of like a sheer blouse. It's got the long sleeves with like a ruffled, it's got ruffles on the edges, ruffles. I think it's like a paisley print. I believe that's what it's called, kind of, maybe floral. Uh, this is also a large. It's got a keyhole back as well. This one I also picked up more for style. It's from the brand Call Style. I've never heard of this brand before. Call Style, and it's a small, but it's a dress. It's got like lace, embroidery. Um, I feel like there's a lot going for this dress. So this is a Sanctuary. This is their boyfriend shirt. So it's like a plaid. Obviously, I haven't steamed any of this stuff yet. I've not got it ready for photographs at all. So it looks a little wrinkly, but this is their uh, boyfriend plaid. It's a button down, button down shirt, or is it a tunic? It might be a tunic. Um, roll sleeves, kind of a basic style, but from what I remember, the sanctuary plaid shirts seem to sell pretty well from what I remember. But this is probably something that will go on Facebook as well. It's a Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson, uh, Australia graphic tee. Very cool. Uh, this brand, I have no idea how to say it. Uh, Areve? Um, if I remember correctly. I know I Googled it. I feel like it was sold in anthropology. I know when I, the reason that I bought it is because this brand this particular shirt was sold in either Anthropology or Urban Outfitters or one of those stores. Uh, but I found a couple of these that had sold on Poshmark for I think, was it 28, 28 bucks? Um, so I went ahead and picked it up because it was in really awesome condition. This one is also a Lucky Brand. This is, it is their older tag. So I am a little worried about whether this one will sell and if for how much, but I thought it was still cute. Uh, sleeveless. Kind of a nice print, floral print. Um, yeah. Ooh, so this one is free people. I I don't know why I could not find this one online. Yeah, I could not find this particular style, um, but I thought it was a nice button down. It's like striped. Um, sorry, it's kind of hard to see when it is so wrinkly, uh, but obviously I will steam this before I photograph it. Next up, this is another Lucky Brand. I think this is another older tag. Uh, this is a dress. Um, it's got little baby sleeves. It's a nice floral like print. I feel like it's very like boho, very in style right now. Um, it does, I see pockets. I don't, okay, yes. I was like, I see the stitching for the pockets. It does have pockets on the side, so that's fun. Uh, this one, I don't know if I'll list this on Poshmark or Facebook. I feel like it's more of a Facebook type t-shirt uh, for me. Um, but it's from the style, from the style, from the brand Back in the Saddle. It is a small, but it's just like really cute, kind of Aztec. And it's got this like beading studs on it. Very cute. Oh, this one is just another graphic tee. Um, Foo Fighters. It's kind of got this like intentional... I think it's called burnout. See, that's that's something else I'm learning. I'm learning like all the different like names and the different like um, types of like features on clothing. That's what I'm learning. So I'm pretty sure this is called burnout fabric. Burnout. This, I actually have two pairs of these shorts. I found two of them right next to each other. Uh, so I went ahead and picked up both. It's from the brand Crazy Shirts Hawaii Original. And it said that they were dyed with wine. Wine dyed crazy shirts. So I have two of these men's shorts, both in a size large. Um, this one, this one has a story. So let me show it to you first. Um, so this is a, I believe it said 1994 on it somewhere. 1994, it is a, um, 
Looney Tunes shirt, but this is all embroidered on. Hopefully it's focusing on there. It's all embroidered. Um, I could not find this exact shirt anywhere. <laughs> Um, so I did like a Google image search and I did, um, I like Googled it. I could not find this exact shirt anywhere. So we will, I have no idea what I'm going to list it at. I was at, and sorry, the brand is A-N, sorry, A-C Acme. It's called Acme Clothing, A-C-M-E Clothing Company. It's an extra, it's an extra large made in Singapore. It says 1994 on the back of the tag. So very cool vintage, right? Uh, but this one has a story. Um, when I went to the Goodwill bins, um, my cart was probably like six feet away from me. It was not too far away from me, but it also wasn't like right here next to me. Um, and I was looking through the bin and I happened to look over and some guy was, I had this one kind of on the top. Some guy was like grabbing stuff out of my cart. I don't know why he thought he could like uh, dig through my cart and grab stuff out of it. Uh, but I did go over there and I was like, hey, like, that's my stuff. And he was like, oh, my bad. And he put it back. But I was like, what? Like, why would you take stuff out of other people's carts? I don't really know. But he was definitely after this shirt, for sure. He definitely saw it and was after this exact shirt. Um, maybe it's worth money. Maybe he knows more than I do. So we will Google that and find out. Uh, next thing is, whoops, we got a couple. Uh, next thing is this Amji dress. It's got floral embroidery on it. It's got pockets. It's kind of like a t-shirt dress. Uh, it's a size medium. I think it's definitely got a lot going for it. Um, we will see as everything. Next, oh, this is also something that I found in the bin right next to the checkout. Uh, it is an Urban Outfitters plaid like mini skirt. There's nothing wrong with it. I have no idea why this was put back. Um, but it's got like a little button clasp. There we go. And the last thing from this particular trip was this J. Jill green uh, button down plaid. And I think, can you roll up the sleeves? I don't know if you can roll up the sleeves. But it is in a, there's no brand tag, no size tag on here. Okay, so there's no size on here, so I will have to like measure it and give my best estimate. Um, but super cute. It's actually really soft and it's the perfect weather right now for this type of clothes. So, and we're moving on to the last bag. This was, I believe, my only pair of shoes that I found. These are Sam Edelman Circus, um, like floral. Uh, they're like a velvet, like a really, like a velvet type material. They're flats. I think they're a size seven and a half. Uh, but I was really excited about these. There were a couple that had been sold on Poshmark for $50. Um, these do have very, very slight wear on the toes. You can really hardly see it. Just a little bit of wear on the toes. And the one has, is it this one? I don't even see it. Um, a very tiny little mark right there. I think you can see that. Little mark right there. Um, but other than that, these are in pretty much perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with them. So um, I probably list these around like 35, 40, and we will see if they sell well. Uh, next is this scarf. There was really nothing too special about this scarf. I really just want to like test out what I can sell, but I thought it was nice. It's like an ombre. It's like an ombre color. It starts dark. It gets lighter and it's got these cute little tassels on it and the tassels are actually also ombre as well they match um so i'm pretty positive it's just polyester or maybe acrylic uh, but we will we will see it's a cute scarf i would wear that scarf uh next is this mtv graphic tee this is something that i will probably list on facebook maybe poshmark but i feel like this is more of a facebook type t-shirt for me just a basic I don't know if this, I don't think this is like a vintage t-shirt at all. Um, no, 2019. This is not a vintage t-shirt. This is just a plain MTV t-shirt. This, okay. This one, we will have to find out. Uh, this is a Calvin Klein size 12 double-breasted. Is it called double-breasted? I feel like that's what it's called. It's not even closed. Okay. The double-breasted um, light coat. It does have, I think these are like elbow sleeves 
and it's got a belt that goes around it. This one, I have not researched this one. I have no idea how much this one will sell for. I'll probably put it on the screen if I have gotten to it. Um, but yeah, this is really excellent condition. I mean, really excellent condition. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So that'll be a fun sell, hopefully. Um, next up, this is also something I bought for style. It's just from Talbot's, but it's got a super cute pattern. Look at that. It's like a paisley. It's got like the kind of like pinky, orange, and teal. It's a button down, long sleeve. I think this is just a really nice uh, piece. This is also something I picked up for style. The brand is Bass. It's in a uh, petite extra large. It's just a blouse, long sleeve. You got the floral embroidery. I really love embroidery. I really love floral patterns. Um, as you can tell, very cute. It's got some more um, kind of embroidery accents here at the bottom. This is from Zara. Um, I definitely need to steam this piece. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to read what it is. Um, but it's a kind of an, also it's another paisley button down blouse. Zara Woman, it is a size small. We are almost there, everybody. We got a lot. So this is a Madewell. This is just a, like a basic um, kind of striped long sleeve. I'm definitely experimenting with uh, things like Madewell. Um, I have do have quite a few Madewell pieces and I have sold quite a few Madewell pieces. So I'm still kind of learning um, what it is with Madewell and like some of the other brands that will cause something to sell super quickly and other things to kind of sit for a while. Um, I'm not really sure, but I tried to look at comps. It looked like something like this uh, will sell. Um, it might sit for a while. We will have to see. Uh, this is from the brand Beach Lunch Lounge. If I remember correctly, I think this was, I think this was sold at Anthropology. It's hard to remember, um, but it's a button down. It's a really cute, um, like, uh, striped style. It's got a pocket in the front. Uh, I believe it is a size, it's, size, it's a size extra large. There that is in the back. This, okay, so this is, the brand is Westbound, which means I didn't pick it up for uh, the brand. I probably picked, I more picked this up for style. Um, this one's also a really experimental piece. I love picking up like, like strange pieces, things that have like really cool prints or like um, styles to them almost. So this is like a striped, um, I don't know if that's elbow sleeve, I think. Um, very cute. This one is actually interesting. Um, it is from, it's called Some Days Lovin'. It is a large and it is this like brick red skirt with a fringe at the bottom. I thought this was like really original. Um, it's got like a leather type pouch back here. Pouch, what am I saying? A leather type patch at the back. Uh, this is from Lucky Brand, size large. It is a super soft long sleeve, like a yellow plaid long sleeve. Um, I believe this one will sell probably really quickly once I get it listed. Awesome, and this one's also, you know, awesome condition. There's nothing wrong with them. Almost there. This one is a, doo -doo 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 -doo. it is a, I think it's Lauren Conrad. Lauren Conrad, it's a medium. Uh, Goodwill wanted $6.99 for this. Obviously I will cut the tags off before I photograph everything. Um, but it is just this like, um, is it black and white? It's kind of like an off-white, like a cream and white floral blouse. It's got ruffles, it's got tassels, um, or like it's almost got like a, a cinch, like a waist cinch, so. And the last piece is this. This I have questions about. <laughs> um, but is this, what is it called? It is a BCBG Max, Max, Max Azria, Max Azria? I don't know. Here it is. It is a skirt. It's in a size medium. 
Um, I definitely need to steam this. It seems like it's rolled a little bit on either side, but a good steam uh, will pull that out. Um, but in this little, there's a name for it, and then I do not remember. It's like a, like a, like a pencil skirt. I know there's a name for it. Oh well, here it is. Really pretty snake skin. Is it snake skin? Uh, I don't know. I think it's snake skin. This print. Um, but it's actually, I mean, for what it is, it's kind of a heavy skirt. It's definitely well made, very stretchy. Um, yeah, I know there was one, a couple that had sold on Poshmark, I think for $30, $30, $35, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'll probably list it around $30, $28, $30, um, or like $32 and accept offers. We will see. All right, so that is the end of this video. I really hoped that you enjoyed it. I've been filming for a long time, so hopefully this video is not too long. Um, but yeah, I know obviously I'm still learning. I'm still kind of learning what sells, uh, what doesn't sell. Uh, hopefully all this stuff will be listed uh, by the time this video goes up, if not soon after. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. I'll probably start posting over there more often maybe. So uh, yes, I hope you have a great day. Bye.